If only for curious minds, I thought I would do a little walk and talk through the campground by the lake, South Lake Tahoe City Campground. And, you know, it's interesting because I would imagine that there are people that are out there kind of surfing the internet and they come across a video like this and it gives them a, a taste into uh, true Americana. You know, when I say people out there surfing the uh, internet, what I mean is the uh, people overseas, maybe people overseas that have never been to, uh, to the United States. And Americans like to camp. So there's my, that's my rig right there. That's my little guy Max uh, camp, campground with a refrigerator that still doesn't work. I had a gentleman who was supposed to come out and take a look at it today, but he got tied up. So that's, uh, that's not going to happen today, maybe tomorrow morning. But you'll notice as I walk through, there's all types of, uh, all types of rigs, as we call them out here, and all types of, uh, all types of vehicles. It really is uh, something. And people come out here and, and just really make, uh, set up home. There you can see some folks got the, the hammock set up across the trees. And you'll see, uh, you'll see people coming here and camping in tents. You'll see people coming and camping in uh, tr uh, campers that they, that they rented, such as this one. They rented that camper. And... Uh, there's somebody's got a little thing over the back of their back of their car. They must have a sleeping bag in the uh, in the back of the car. And then you got these big beautiful RVs. You know, people that don't mess around and they they come out to camp and they bring a big uh, big RV similar to the size that uh, my friend Skip Smith bought down in Florida but these have what are called sliders you see the little compartments that slide out and give you uh, increased living space and quite uh, quite fancy for those of you that have never been inside of a one of these motor homes with the uh, with the sliders this gentleman here is from where is he from he's from Arizona Forever is a license plate. Forever, and that's probably a. Uh, oh, that's probably a. I would imagine. I saw the. That's a young couple. That not a young couple, but a couple that has that. That camper. Just look at the. Uh, look at that. Not a nice. Uh, not a nice rig. Maybe one day I'll step up. Somebody told me, I think it was Skip Smith, as a matter of fact, that campgrounds, you know, people walk around campgrounds looking at, you know, what's the next rig that they're going to buy. And I don't know if I'll ever buy something like that, but who knows. And then you get people that come that uh, they just make a, like a family event out of it. Maybe it's an annual event. And this... Uh, these folks right here, when I was walking past earlier, you see they got the kayaks up on the up on the top of their truck. But uh, there's a whole uh, whole outfit there, just kind of camping, whole family thing. They got the big big table with the with the bottles of wine and the, and it looks like they're making all the fixings of a of a big dinner. They've got their hammock out as well. They even bring flowers. See, they got flowers hanging. They don't mess around. There's the campfire. They got a big supply of, of wood for a campfire tonight. Quite the setup. This is called Campground by the Lake. If you want a spot that's got electric and if you want a spot that has electric and uh, water hookup, it'll set you back. Better part of $45 per night. 
and if you want a uh, space that doesn't have any hookup, that'll set you back the better part of $35 a night. And then nicely they have uh, showers here, showers and bathrooms that you can use. And there was even some sightings of, uh, of bears in this area. There's signs out that you gotta don't leave your uh, don't leave your food out, or the bears will come by and pay a visit in the nighttime. Very very nice. Temperature is just ideal. Temperature here is about. 80 degrees during the day about 80 degrees during the day and at night it always gets down to about 50 degrees so it's just absolutely ideal and here's another beautiful rig look at that with the sliders if you're watching this video and you do decide to come to the campground by the lake in South Lake Tahoe you're gonna probably want to get yourself a camp spot like this person did which is right up against the parking lot of the library and I say that because the internet here is just terrible the internet in uh, South Lake Tahoe and why your your cell phone signals are absolutely terrible but uh, anyway so that is your that's your walk and talk and look at that uh, look at that beautiful rig isn't that something all right have a great day